Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Got a melee DPS tier list for 10.1.5 using data from the highest keys completed on Raider IO, comparison between the highest IO for specs and DPS performance in Mythic Plus keys on Warcraft logs. Also, taking into account recent buffs or nerfs to specs that I know about, should be a super fun video. I was even surprised to see some of the specs performing so well right now. Uh, a couple things to keep in mind, though. App tuning happens all of the time in WoW. Uh, so while spec might be performing really well right now, that could change in future weeks. And a big factor here, the new augmentation evoker is going to be, play a huge role with how they, you know, how they work with certain classes. And we've yet to see how, what that looks like, you know, test it on the highest end mythics. Um, so I'm curious to see how that will play out um, and how, how some specs will do really well and how some specs won't or how viable uh, augmentation will be. It looks really viable right now. Uh, I'll try to keep you updated as best I can. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see more tier lists like this. Uh, to explain the tier list real quick, we got S for God tier. Okay, this is the top of the top. They are the best specs in the game right now for uh, for melee. Um, we've got A is awesome, right below S tier, maybe not performing as well, maybe in um, DPS and AOE, single target, or don't have to bring the same utility or toolkit for the team. B is good, pretty good all around. You can push the high, you know, higher mythics, um, some more weaknesses than these other two. C, man, there's some, there's some clear weaknesses of why they, they, they lack, what they lack, whether that's damage, utility, what they bring for their team. Uh, funnel damage, whatever that is, they lack something. D is help me. They need some serious tuning or rework, or they're just they're not even able to basically function in a mythic plus. Uh, nobody is here at this level, thankfully. So let's jump right into this. All right, to kick things off, we're gonna go with the rogue specializations. Uh, sub 100% S tier. It is the best spec in the game right now. Uh, their survivability is bonkers per usual. You know, you got evasion, shroud, vanish. Their utility is wild with tricks of the trade, concealment, blind. Gouge, quick interrupts, insane control over mobs, which is just super helpful in almost every Mythic Plus dungeon, especially if you're pushing higher keys. Uh, they're really nice in freehold to start their RP. I know that's something to mention because it can save like a couple minutes in your key, honestly. Uh, they do crazy good single target damage and AoE damage. There's a reason why they're the number one melee spec in the game and why you're seeing it the highest keys completed right now. Uh, it is the best melee, for sure. Uh, let's go with Outlaw next. Um, Outlaw is doing pretty well. I I I'm going to put an A tier. Uh, I think they're doing good in terms of damage. Obviously, they bring the same kind of toolkit as, you know, um, sub with, you know, evasion, shroud, vanish. Uh, they got tricks of the trade, consume, all that stuff, which is really nice. Uh, it's it, Like I said, it's performing well, just a little bit less damage-wise than sub. Um, they still have insane control over targets. They do, they have really good mobility. Um, and I feel like this season, they're, they're mythic, in the Mythic Plus dungeons, they're not as punished of uh, their AoE target cap of eight, which is really nice. They're super fun to play, uh, especially if your group, you know, needs the survivability or the toolkit of a rogue and you don't like sub, play Outlaw. It's doing really good. Assassination. Assassination has been in the blender. Um, it has not been doing very well and it, it, it's staying that way. It's definitely C, meh. Um, it, it, again, you're bringing the same toolkit as the other rogues, but it just is not performing as well in damage, whether that's single target, AOE, whatever. Even if you look at the highest keys completed on Raider IO right now, there is, you know, Assassination Rogue is like 300 IO score less than these other ones. I'm not saying, even though those are people that are like, you know, really freaking good at the game, really good with their specialization that are pushing those high end content. It just, you know, even if they can push, you know, 3000 IO, if you play this at a lower level, it doesn't matter. You can play it, you know? Um, but you know, pugs, it's, it is harder to get into groups, you know, if you're not playing what's, you know, quote unquote meta, uh, and they are struggling in terms of damage, to these other specs, but if you really know it, you really like it, definitely play it unless you're pushing really high in mythics. Um, because that'll play a big factor. Uh, let's go with enhanced Xiaomi now. Um, enhanced Xiaomi is looking really good. I think it is the second best, uh, melee DPS in the game. Uh, along with a couple other specs that think they're right below um, enhancement, but it's performing so well, especially Clicks. If you guys know him, he's an insane enhancement shaman. He's pushed the highest keys in the game right now on Raider IO. I'm sure we'll see him in the great push. Uh, he's fantastic. They got quick interrupts, bloodlust, AoE stun. They have knockups, um, which is insane. Group healing. They have ancestral guidance for the group. Very cool toolkit for damage in both single target and AoE. They have a, like just insane funnel damage. I've uh, reincarnated too. Uh, if you die, just a nice thing to have. Do not use a battle res. And overall, just a fantastic DPS to bring. Uh, I think it's why we're seeing them in the highest keys done. And it's great to be an enhancement main. Honestly, <laughs> I love it. Um, let's go with Rep Paladin. Rip Paladin, I'm going to put above Outlaw. It's performing really well. If you guys look at Raider IO right now, they're in some of the highest keys completed. They are one of the best melee DPS in the game. I think in terms of, of what they bring to the team, I don't think it, they don't perform as well as enhancement, uh, even funnel damage, and, you know, sub is freaking goaded right now. 
Uh, but they bring a lot to your team, especially if you're not having another paladin. You know, they have Blessing of Protection, they have a Battle Res, Blessing, blessing of Sacrifice, good survivability with self heals and off healing for the group. They've got good defensives, they got bubble for so many specific scenarios, especially when you're in high end keys and some of the DP, some of the shit is just you know whacking you for a one shot or something like that. They've got lay on hands. Uh, they do really uh, consistent um, DPS even without wings, which is really nice to see. But when you have wings, they're insane. Uh, the single target damage is good, but they have insane AOE right now. It's really fun to see. Uh, they've got a single target stun. You know they can deal with the incorporeals, which is nice. They have an AOE CC with blinding light. Uh, definitely worth bringing your keys. Um, like I said, if you don't have a pally already, but with holy pally looking like freaking insane, like goaded. And Prop Paladin still being pretty good. Um, I don't think you'll see double pally, um, but it couldn't hurt, honestly. But it's solid specialization. If you like it, continue to play it. I think it is the most popular specialization in the game right now. Maybe sub might be in higher keys, but I, it is insanely popular, which is good. They need, the, they need their time to shine, without a doubt. Uh, all right, next up, let's go Fury Warrior. Let's go Warrior for both. Warrior belongs in A tier. I think it's above Outlaw as well. It's just doing really good. You got Battle Shout, which is great for physical damage comps. You got Incapacitating Shout, Storm Bolt, Rallying Cry. Those are all great things to have, especially Rallying Cry when you're pushing higher content. It's not hard to execute well and pick up for new players. Um, you've got good self-healing. You got Defensive Stance uh, for heavy incoming damage. Spell Effect, which is, can, can come in clutch. Uh, you're very good AoE damage, very good single target damage, um, which makes up, I think, for a lot of, uh, you know, them not having as much help with the new affixes like Afflicted. They can help with Incorporeal, but it's a little bit more of a pain. Uh, and some of the other utility that they don't bring compared to like Sub or Rep, but their damage is making up for it right now. And they're they're, <laughs> they're nuts. They, I mean, I mean it, they are nuts and they're easy to pick up. It's just, it's, it's a solid spec. Uh, for arms, we're gonna put arms in B. Uh, I think more towards the lower middle of the pack. Uh, they're still performing really well. If you look at the highest keys completed bet between arms and Fury, Fury is beating out arms, with but arms uh, is doing well overall. Um, they see, you know, they bring the same toolkit for that. They've got battle shout uh, again, rallying cry, which is really nice. Storm bolt. I think you can play either one if you really like one or the other. Especially if you're, you know, if you're only doing plus twenties, plus twenty ones, plus twenty twos. Both are going to be very viable. Depending on what you like to play, I think arms is a little bit harder to play or pick up. Um, takes more practice there with that. Um, but I, I think part of their issues is their skill tree. Uh, you actually have to like depend on going more, um, like choose more single target damage, more AOE damage, or maybe an okayish mix. But it's not the same as Fury. Most of their builds are just good for single target. They're good for AOE. It's solid around that. I think if something changes up for the talent tree, arms could be looking way better, but way better than it is right now. Uh, but I think that's why it's performing or not as well, and it's in B tier. Uh, let's go with the Death Knights right now. Uh, Frost DK is actually performing pretty good. I'm going to put them in B with arms. Uh, right now, if you guys have seen the raid um, raid DPS logs or anything like that, they're bonkers. They are absolutely bonkers in single target and raid fights. But in Mythic Plus, they're not performing quite as well as they, as there, but they are still doing solid. Uh, we're seeing some high key, higher keys being completed, you know, plus 3,000 IO. Uh, they're performing much better than Unholy right now. They've got good AoE damage, solid single target damage. Really like them. And obviously, you know, as a DK, you're bringing the same toolkit. You got Death Grip, you get A Bomb Limb, you got AMS, Death's Advance, which is really nice for knockbacks. There's a lot of them this season. Yeah. AMZ for your grip. You've got a Battle Res. You've got Death Strike for self healing. You're a very sturdy melee DPS for both Frost and Unholy, which is really nice. Uh, so it performs well in Mythic Plus, pretty well, but it performs better in Raid. Uh, but it is a great mix between AoE and single target. If you want to play DK really bad and you don't mind either one, I'd play Frost if you're pushing some higher keys for shit, for sure. And I mean, they, I'm serious, guys. They pump. I played with some recently. Holy shit. Uh, let's go with Unholy. Unholy is better than Assassination, uh, but not by a lot, um, in my opinion. And, and, you know, looking at keys, they bring the same toolkit, but they are a little bit more sturdy. But you have, you know, Rogue itself just has such a good toolkit overall. Uh, but if you're playing a rogue, you're probably going to be playing outlaw or sub. I think that brings down the value for um, assassination because they're not really bringing anything specifically right now to the table. Uh, and their just damage is just so much lower than these other two specializations or just the specializations here for damage overall. Uh, they, I, they need something to change. I honestly think their talent tree needs a rework. Uh, let me know if you guys agree with me down below or what you think could change for them to do better. I really love assassination. It's my favorite of the three specializations. I hope they buff it. I hope they change it. Um, because I, I think it deserves it. And everybody who loves Assassination, I just want it to be meta. You know, I want it to be really good. It was really good in Season 1 for Raid. Uh, and then it just, it's fallen so hard. So, 
Uh, next up, let's go Havoc. Have a Demon Hunter, guys. Have a Demon Hunter is you know right around the same as Outlaw Rogue. They've gotten some recent buffs right now for 10.1.5, which is great. But you're bringing Chaos Brand uh, for increased magical damage, so and it, it's buffed. It, and then, like I said, they're buffed recently, but they perform really well uh, with top performing range DPSs right now, like Shadow Priest, Balance Druid, uh, Mages, which are insane, especially with the rework coming up. You've got good survivability um, with you know you have good self healing with self um, with Darkness Blur. Uh, you got Leech, Metamorphosis. They're really nice. You've got uh, single target stun. You've got two AoE stuns with Chaos Nova and Citadel of Misery, uh, which is really nice. But they're overall, they're just performing good damage-wise. Um, good in a very good in AoE. Pretty decent in uh, single target. There are some fights that makes it more difficult, especially with Momentum build, which is still performing really well. There are a couple other builds you can play right now. I really love the Momentum and Rage Fire build mixed in together. Uh, it feels freaking awesome, feels super fun, it's a good mix between both, but they're performing really good, they deserve a spot in A, for sure, and they're performing around the same as Outlaw, although, if you look at top right radar IO keys, you know, radar IO, this, Havoc, there's some high keys being completed as Havoc, uh, right up here with these, you know, Fury Warrior and Rep Pally, which is cool to see, especially with them not being as meta as they were in Season 1. Uh, Windwalker Monk, guys, Windwalker Monk is for sure going A tier. Uh, it is the least played class in the game, okay? But they bring so much to the table. You've got Ring of Peace, Leg Sweep, inc Incapacitating, uh, Incapacitating for Incorporeals, which is nice to just have the instant thing, you know, same as Havoc. Uh, you, uh, they can help with Afflicted. You got Tiger's Lust for yourself or others and Mystic Touch to increase physical damage for your group. So great for physical comps, you know, maybe like a, a Fury Warrior, Rep Pally, um, Havoc Demon Hunter, something like that. Just really good. They've got Insane Mobility, good survivability with fortify, Fortifying Brew, which is getting buffed, Touch of Karma, and Diffuse Magic. Uh, they're doing better in single target than they were, which is really nice to see, but they really shine in AoE. They're very fun to play. Uh, they belong in A tier. Uh, and, and even if you look at Warcraft logs, they have less parses than everybody else, but they're just because it's the least played class. It doesn't mean that they're bad. I think they're a solid A, a option. Um, even if the Guerrero, Raider IO for the highest keys completed, they're solid. They're, and they're super fun, guys. I'm telling you, if you want to play Windwalker Monk, now's a good time to play them. They're a great mix between both. Um, next up, we got Survival Hunter. Oh, we're going to put Survival Hunter. Actually, high B. It's probably the highest B spec, uh, B spec I'm going to put in here. Low A, maybe. They're performing so freaking well, okay? Uh, they're completing much higher keys than all the the other two specializations, so Marksmanship and Beast Mastery. Uh, they're doing very well damage-wise. I'm serious. The AoE is cracked. I've seen a lot more play from them recently. Um, not as cracked as back in Shadowlands, but still very good. They bring Bloodlust, which is really nice. They don't have great survivability, unfortunately. Uh, they, I mean, they have good cooldowns for it, but they have such a long cooldown on on the big CD, the defensive CDs that that hurts them a lot, especially if you're um, you're pushing some higher keys. Uh, very easy to pick up, though. Great mix between melee and range if need be. If you've wanted to try it, now's a pretty good time to do it, uh, especially if you're not doing super high, high, high keys or pushing. Uh, they've got good group utility, per usual, with misdirection, you know, freeze trap, which is awesome for incorporeals. Uh, Sentinel Owl, I still think they need a rework to be, to, I don't know, be more engaging, have more fun. But they are doing pretty good, so if you like survival, play it now. It's freaking good. Uh, okay, we got Feral Druid, man. I'm putting actually Feral Druid um, right right along the same time as Arms. I think it slightly beats it out just for what you're bringing. Uh, but with how good Guardian's going to be, Wrestle's looking decent. Um, I think you might not see as much because, you know, you only need one Mark of the Wild. But you are bringing Mark of the Wild, you know, which is a great buff to have. Whether, you, you know, Raid, Mythic Plus, whatever. Yeah, Battle Res, Stampeding Roar, uh, Nature's Vigil for, for Off Heals, Incapacitating Roar. Uh, you got Quick Interrupts. You've got Fantastic Mobility. you got very, very insane AoE damage. Uh, they got buffed a little bit recently, too. So I could see them rising up in A, if not there already. I think if we, if we like, you know, if this was a tier list for including both the specs together, I think it would probably fall in A tier. But... Comparing it just to melee, I think it is a solid B spec. Um, but you know, really fun. They got decent survivability too. You know, you got bark skin survival instincts, um, and they're great for the new affixes for afflicted, entangling, and uh, incorporeal. It's nice, uh, really solid. So this is where I stand, guys. I, I think this is um, very accurate going into 10.1.5 of what we're gonna see. I, I am very curious to see how these specs will. Um, you know, hone up with uh, Augmentation Evoker, how they'll play with it, what, how well Augmentation Evoker will work with certain specs and not with others. So I will do an updated tier list here in the future. So keep an eye out for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm excited to see things, you know, like things how play out. And I'm very excited for TGP, the great push. It's gonna be super fun. You guys should definitely check that out. You know, the best players in the world are gonna be pushing the highest keys, um, the highest keys in the game. I'm so pumped for this, so yeah, keep an eye out for that, seriously. Uh, I do stream on Twitch from time to time, so feel free to go check me out on there. My link will be down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.